Hello and welcome to the James Grandstrom podcast, Super Soul Model Series, where I help you tune and tap into your natural state of well-being. In this episode, I'm going to share with you how to use intention in a powerful way. Now, in a previous episode, I've talked about the power of writing your intentions down. But what I've discovered in my own experience is the intention is like four steps. And I noticed with something that happened to me recently, I wanted something and I didn't know how it was going to come about. And it came about so easily. And that reminded me to say, do you know what? People need to know this. And this is a step that I don't often see when other people talk about it or I've read about it in previous books. So I want to share this with you. Now, everything I share is based on something I've done. I'm like the guinea pig who's gone out into the world and tried to find out what works and what doesn't work. And I'm always wanting to report back in with you to say, hey, I found something that really works. And this is what this podcast is all about. It's got to be practical because when I have read literally hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of books on subjects like manifestation, like health, like wealth, like business, what I've realized is that I just wanted to know what are the practical tools, what are the processes, what are the strategies that are going to help me get from where I am to where I want to be. And I want to share that with you. And so if you're on board, I want to share with you something today, my four-step process about how to actually intend something and for it to come about in a way that's absolutely easy and natural. Now, this will blow your mind in its simplicity, but to actually execute it may be a little different. So I want to share with you my four-step process so that you can start using intention in a really powerful way and start attracting into life what you really want, not what you just think you want, but what you really want. So before we do that, we have to understand what intention is. An intention is setting a goal or having a desire and then wanting that to come into your experience in a natural and beautiful way. So intention means... I want something, I have a desire, and I expect it to come about. That is the word intention. But often what we don't realize is that there is a period of gestation between what you want and its unfolding. That's what a lot of people sometimes miss in a world where there's a digital age where everything's instant. So just like having a baby, the law of gestation is saying that, you know, you plant the seed, there's conception, and it takes nine months for the baby to grow in the womb before there's actually a baby. The same thing is with your intentions and your desires. There is a period of time of gestation or a buffer of time before what you want can come about. Now, what I want to share with you is this four-step process. So what are the four steps to be able to start attracting what you want through using intention in a powerful way? So the first one is to ask. Now you're always asking at some level. And asking means to be totally clear about what you want and your desired end result. Now, sometimes people ask, but then there's this little thing in the middle, which is, "Mm, I want that, but. And then suddenly your asking has just gone right out the window and you're just stuck, which is why a lot of people don't get what they want because there's a but in between. Number two to believe. Now, believing is knowing it's possible for you without contradicting the actual belief, thinking it's possible for me, but I haven't seen it. So suddenly again, you're asking and it's not happening. You're believing and then it's not happening. And then the third one is to show active faith. To show active faith that it's possible for you by putting your stake in the ground. And number four is to receive the fulfillment of your desire or of your goal or of your intention. Now, all of these four rules are so important. But if you get the asking wrong and if you get the believing wrong, it's just never going to unfold in a way that will be satisfying for you. So the four step process to be able to intend powerfully is to ask, is to believe, is to show active faith and then it's to receive. Now, often people have talked about ask, believe, receive, but they miss the third point, which is show active faith. Now, this is the part that really drives it home. This is the bit that turns an idea into something physical, into reality. And this is what I've noticed. So I want to share with you in a little bit more detail each of the steps 
and then give you some case studies about what I mean. So number one, ask. At some level of your being, you're always asking, but when you write it down, it's a lot clearer. So when you're really clear about your end destination, about what you want, maybe it's a sum of money, maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's a healing, maybe it's an improved health condition of some sort, or maybe it's a better job or a better home. When you're really clear about it and you know what you want, then that destination becomes a lot clearer for the universe to deliver. It knows what you want, you're clear, and there's no contradiction about what you want. You're like, this is what I want, I wanna go here. So write it down, there's a 47% chance that it's gonna come about a lot quicker when you write it down, which is why I did a whole episode on writing your intentions down. And I'd also suggest doing this, when you're asking and you're trying to get clear on an intention, always say, universe, orchestrate this for me in an easy, comfortable, and natural way. And so that the universe can go about doing it because you have a universal manager that will help you get what you want, but you've got to ask. And if you don't ask, you think that you always have to do it yourself. But there's this beautiful universal manager in the sky, as Abraham Hicks likes to say, that will help you with every request that you ever have. And when I first came across this idea, I thought, hang on a minute, if I don't ask, I'm not going to get. And it's the same in the physical world. If you don't ask, you're not going to get. So you've got to ask, but ask with clarity. So writing it down and asking the universe to help you is a far more powerful way where you can leverage the angels or the universe to help you get what you want. So if you have a desire and your desire is really clear, there should be no contradiction in that. That's what I want. I want to go here. Think of it like an end destination. That's what I want and that's where I want to go. It's not like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen on the way. It's I want to go here and I want that. And as soon as you're clear, that time frame is collapsed and the universe knows exactly what you want and will start showing you the route to getting there. But now comes the second part. The second part is believe. Now, this is where most people don't get what they want because they don't believe that their goal is possible because at some level of their being, there is, I'm not good enough or it hasn't happened yet. Or, I've never seen any evidence of that or I've never seen anybody I know have that. But it's only when you start looking into your experience or other people's experiences which says they've had that or I've seen that person have that. So if they can have it, I know it's possible. And then, so this is where the belief factor really needs to come in because you can't get what you want until you believe it's possible. This is where most people go wrong. And so this is what I started to do when times were really challenging. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have to have some sort of mantra in front of me that I get to see every single day that keeps my belief and my mind wide open to that anything's possible. So I wrote this thing on a note, uh, on a post-it note which says, anything is possible, it's possible. And when your mind is open to it's possible, then that creates the mind to be open to all sorts of incredible, infinite, unlimited possibilities for you. So I really recommend getting yourself a post-it note or something you can print out which says it's possible, dot, dot, dot. Whatever it is that you want, it's possible. If you've seen someone else do it or you've seen someone else have what you want, then it is possible. If it's possible for them, it's possible for you. The only thing that separates the people that have what they want and the people that don't have what they want is that the people that have what they want believed it was possible for them. And the only way you're ever going to believe that it's possible for you is by opening your mind to thinking and knowing that it's possible. And there are so many case studies of things where I've looked into my own experience gone, well, that hasn't happened before, but it's still possible. And I want to share with you some things in this episode that is going to stretch your mind open to beliefs that things are possible for you. Because as soon as you get on that train of thought and that trajectory, you're going to feel unlimited. You're going to feel like a magical, masterful manifester. And that is really important when it comes to intending what you want to come about. So number three, showing active faith. Showing active faith is essentially putting your stake in the ground. And this is perhaps the most important part of intending what you want to have come about. So 
whilst your believing is key, showing active faith shows your belief is actually in the physical world. Because sometimes your desires, you can't yet see them, but showing active faith is an essential part of saying, in this physical reality, this is what I want, so I'm preparing for it. It's a bit like saying, I know the baby's coming, I know my idea, I know the goal, I know the desire, and so I'm going to get the baby room ready in advance for the babies to come. So you start painting the room, you start getting the cot, you start getting all the things ready for the new baby that's due to come in nine months' time. That is the con- from the time of conception to the time of full gestation. Now it's the same with your desires. It's the same with your goals. Are you preparing for your desires to come about in total physical reality even though you cannot see them just yet? Because when you do that and when you prepare the soil, when you prepare the soil and dig the trenches, essentially what you're doing is saying, I'm planting seeds and I'm expecting it to grow, but I'm just not digging up that seeds every single minute going, is it there yet? Is it there yet? Is it there yet? What you're actually doing is trusting the process. But you're trusting the process by showing active faith that you're painting that baby room or that you are preparing for that relationship by making space in your wardrobe for the other person's clothes or you are buying two sets of towels instead of one set of towels or you're buying two sets of slippers instead of one set of slippers. You are booking that holiday or at least looking at holidays even though you don't know where you're going yet. Your bag is kind of ready to go for a weekend trip even though you don't know where you're going yet. It's all of these little things that you do that shows active faith that starts to show intention that you believe it's possible for you. Now years ago when I didn't know when I was going on a trip or a modeling trip with my work I used to pack my bag and have it kind of ready and it was amazing that in a week or two I'd be off on a trip just because I did that because my bag was kind of ready with all the things and it just blew my mind away that that was just something I started to do and another thing that happened showing active faith that blew my mind was I wanted some new clothes in my experience and so I got rid of 80% of all my clothes and getting rid of 80% of all my clothes I got an idea to enter a competition and that competition was something I won on Instagram for GQ and I ended up winning thousands of pounds worth of clothes because my picture got selected out of everybody in the whole world and it went in the GQ magazine and the company said come in and you can get thousands of pounds worth of clothes and I was literally blown away but I was blown away because I was showing active faith by releasing the old clothes that I didn't want, giving them to charity And then within a few months, I received amazing new clothes. Talk about being blown away. Talk about showing active faith. This is the power of intention at hand. Now, number four is receiving. So the first three parts are really important. You've asked, you've got clear. Number two, you're believing it's possible and it's possible for you. Number three, you're showing active faith by putting your stake in the ground in some way that says, this is what I want and I'm preparing for it. And then number four, it's receiving. And the receiving comes in a natural timing. Now, this part is not up to you. This is up to your ability to relax, let go, and trust that it's all coming about within that law of gestation. Now, some things can come quickly into your experience, and some things take a little time. Now, if you're wanting to move into that dream home, it might take a little time. If you're wanting to manifest that dream car, it might take a little time. If you're wanting to manifest that partner, are you preparing the character of yourself for that perfect person? And that's when number four, receiving comes about. Receiving comes about when you're detached, relaxed, and you have qualities such as you're joyful, you're playful, you're relaxed, you're easy. And that is when wonderful things start to come into your experience. And when you're tight, you're closed, you're needy, you're tense, what you want can't come about because the opportunities that are always there, you can't see them because you're in that state. So in order to change your state, to start to receive what you want, you need to relax. You need to chill out a little bit. You need to be good to yourself. You need to be 
easy. You need to be playful. You need to be lighthearted. You need to be a little bit more fun. You need to take things a little less seriously because these are super attractive qualities for what you want to be able to receive. This is the receiving mode. You're always in some type of receiving mode, but are you in the receiving mode of being super tight and needy or are you being in the receiving mode of being super relaxed and chilled and happy and playful? Because... Now, you could be dancing between a couple of these from time to time, but when you know what you want, it should feel good, which means you should sway more to the, I'm relaxed, I'm easy, I'm expectant. Because as soon as you get into that expectant feeling, that expectant attitude that, yeah, I'm prepared, I've showed active faith, it's just a matter of time, then then what you want will come about easily and comfortably in your experience. I'll give you an example of something that happened to me recently that kind of blew my mind. I went home for Christmas and with that I came back and I came back with a suitcase of all my skiing gear. Now I knew I wanted to go skiing and I knew where I wanted to go skiing but I didn't know who I was going to go with and I didn't know when. And at the beginning of the year, I was moving into my new place and I was super chuffed, super happy moving into my new place. I found it within a short amount of time and it's exactly everything I wanted. Um, But I also wanted to go skiing. And one of my clients said, I'm going skiing on one of our calls and one of our sessions. And he said, would you like to come? And that was the window of opportunity that I didn't even see, I didn't even think of. And he said, there's some great people coming. I think you want to meet them as well. And I ended up saying yes. And it happened to be an amazingly fun, easy, natural experience. And it was so good. And the weather was phenomenal. And I had such a good time. We all had such a good time. So what I did was just show active faith by bringing my ski gear back with me. It was as simple as that. Even though I didn't know all the details, that's how easy it can be when you know what you want and you demonstrate active faith that's when the receiving can be really really quick now it's really easy to say this but it's another thing to practice this but another way you could look at it is by saying that if I were to give you a hundred dollars for telling me every red car on the road and you're going to be really on the lookout to show me where the next red car is but if I don't give you that hundred dollars you're not going to be that full of intent to really look for the next red car you see When something's important to you, there's intention. But when it's not that important to you, you're not going to do much about it. So if you really want to change and transform and start attracting what you want, then you've got to show active faith and really mean it. Because what's important to you can come about when you're clear and you put your stake in the grounds. So there's this beautiful story that I want to share with you that I came across a few months ago. And it was about a father and a daughter and the daughter did this TikTok, and it was so interesting because this is exactly how intention works yet the timing or the manifestation of the intention coming into reality took a bit of time but there's magic and this is exactly how it works so a father and a daughter went around looking at properties and the father wanted to buy a property for his daughter and they went to this beautiful area and they found one house that needed doing up and it was abandoned so the father and the daughter went in and had a little look and they went oh this could be a great property if we could do this up and this could be a great place to live what a beautiful neighborhood and the father said to the daughter he said let's put our stake in the ground and let's put a deposit down and the daughter goes how are we going to do that dad we can't afford it And he goes, what we're going to do is we're just going to put our intention in. So he put a one pound coin, put it under the doormat and they left, closed the door. And funnily enough, that house came on the market uh, on auction uh, a year or two later. And it just so happened that the daughter and the father were able to purchase that property for the daughter, which she ended up moving into. And she was blown away because it was the very house that the dad had put that pound coin under the doormat. Yet it took a couple of years before they were actually able or in a position to get a mortgage to actually buy that property. But that was the property they put the stake down. That was the property where they showed active faith. And as money is energy, that showed active faith. Now, you could do that with a lot of things. 
Whatever it is that you want to do, put your stake in the ground and show intention because when you intend, magical things happen because there's clarity. And when there's clarity, there's power. Now, one of the things that blew me away when I first started understanding Dig the Trenches was years ago when my grandma was alive, I was studying Feng Shui. And one of the things that the Feng Shui practitioner said, come round, they came round to our house, came round to the property and said, oh, you need to put some hedges around this area of your property. This would create a beautiful border so the energy flows. And I was just starting to get into energy. And I thought, golly, I'm going to need like 25 of these like little small trees to create the border that the Feng Shui practitioner is thinking about. Now, my parents were very open-minded, bless them, given their strange son but I was getting into energy you know like I was understanding these natural laws and I was thinking do you know what I've got to put them into practice to see if they actually work or they're just something that you read so funnily enough about a day or two later I'm round at my grandma's house and she says oh hello darling can you help me I've got to do some gardening I've got all these little trees around my garden that I'm trying to get out so I can start planting all these rose bushes but I need to take all these box trees out can you help me? And I said, oh my golly, those are the exact trees that I need. Um, can I take them off you? She goes, you can have them, darling. And you know how many were there of those trees? There were 25 of those trees, exactly what I needed to create that border. So I started digging all the trenches uh, and planted all of those things. And I was literally like, how is this actually possible? It's possible that when you're clear, and you believe it's possible, then things will come about in the most miraculous and mysterious ways. We live in a magical, mysterious universe where anything is possible, but you need to have your mind open enough that things are possible for you. Even some of the most outrageous things that you can't even believe yet, you've got to believe at some level it's possible for you first. And if you keep that up, and if you show active faith, then it's got to come about. And all I would like to say is, don't believe me. Go out and show active faith in your own experience about something that you want, that you want to manifest, that you want to attract into your experience, and just see what comes into your experience as a result. You'll be blown away, but more importantly, you'll feel powerful. You'll feel powerful that you've harmonized with the natural laws, and that is a beautiful thing. Remember, some things will take a short amount of time and some things may take a longer amount of time. But if you prepare the way and you prepare the soil, as they say in farmer's terms, you're going to receive what you want in divine time. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope it has inspired you. It's something close to my heart and I'm still blown away by how this actually all works. But once you understand energy, once you work with the natural laws, You'll be surprised and delighted what amazing things can show up for you. But you have to keep believing that it's possible. And not only that it's possible, but it's possible for you. And you've also got to make sure that there's no contradiction. If you've enjoyed this episode, please remember to like, subscribe and share. And if you haven't already, please leave a review because your reviews really make this podcast get out to more and more people who can help uplift and transform their lives as well. Thanks for listening. And until the next episode, I wish you a wonderful week ahead and green lights all the way.